the only guy but Quinn Clint Twin. Because it was interesting listening to Wendy today, because, uh, and I look at Kate, because I'm sure you'll give me a comment, because uh, what we're talking about is the local government setting. Now, I'm not an employee of local government, but where we're operating is in the, in the world of local government, and the chair of Caddy John Vinnie will be quite shortly. And, and uh, so, when I was listening to Wendy talk, and, and uh, as was with Eric and, and, and Tim, um, we heard a, a lot of things that we've experienced since 2006. Like, for example, by waving this document the same way as Wendy did, you know, the story captures their voices, captures Kate's voice, captures John's voice. Because what we found was that, you know, and I, the reason we call it Beyond the Guidebook was because in 2002, I was the project manager and principal author for a provincial guidance document called Stormwater Planning, a Guidebook for British Columbia. So this is Beyond the Guidebook 2010. And that document was a transformational document. So we knew that, that it was not a case of producing technical documents. And we knew a decade ago we had to follow the educational route. And so I think what we've been doing is being the pilot for what Wendy was talking about today. And how the lessons that we've gone through can inform what, you know, what. I was getting confused. The same. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it takes time, and you hear that, the change of practitioner culture. And so what we have written is the story of what the champions are doing. And that's partly what we're talking about, the lessons learned. And so in terms of what's going on in the local government setting, for us, this is a pretty powerful diagram. Am I blocking your view? Fine. What you do? Okay. <laughs> because what this is showing you <clears throat> is the, you know, the number of initiatives where people have begun collaborating and within regions and have begun talking. And going that next step is then having the regions talk to each other. Because four or five years ago when we started this process, what we found was that within a valley, if there could be four or five jurisdictions, they weren't talking to each other. So if they weren't talking to each other in the Cowichan Valley, right, Kate? then the Cowichan Valley wasn't talking to the Comox Valley, and yet everybody's doing something. And so what this starts to capture is, in all these different regions, the precedent-setting initiatives about changing what we do on the ground to change how <coughs> we treat water, how we treat the land. And so CAVI, the acronym being back around, you'll see the five, the five initiatives, all the way from Comox Valley down to the Capital Regional District, the Boca Creek Blueprint. The cross-fertilization that's taking place with Metro Vancouver. The cross-fertilization that's taking place with the Okanagan, and the fact that what we're talking about today started in the South Okanagan as our test, the lessons we learned in the South Okanagan we applied on Vancouver Island, those lessons learned on the island have now gone back into inform what they're doing in the South Okanagan. So, you know, the re inter regional collaboration is happening. <coughs> so, this <coughs> is kind of the synopsis of what we've learned in terms of principles, and you heard uh, Wendy talk about principles in terms of. Uh, how will good things start to happen when people choose to be enabled? And we often hear it in the world of local government is you know, local government is enabled. We'll choose to do it. And you know, establishing high expectations, the shared vision. You heard all this stuff this morning, but this is what's been going on in the setting of local government. And so culminating in number 10, as you as you, as you quickly scan this list, you know, aligning, integrating, celebrating innovation, connecting with community advocates, this has been very powerful to connect with the community. Developing talent and you know, the sharing of resources. You heard that this morning from Wendy. Everybody's doing less with, you know, doing more with less, and shared responsibility. We all have a part to play. Changing the land ethic. It's all about land, land ethic. So, Kathy, have I more?